Hello everyone. Once again, welcome back to my channel, Server Gyan. My name is Dr. Lokendra Singh, and today we are going to discuss about a very important topic, and that is patch management. So usually people ask during interview, especially that have you worked on patch management? How do you patch an operating system? How do you ensure when package was updated last? So these kind of questions usually appear during interview. So that kind of things we are going to discuss. So first of all, guys, let me tell you the particular OS version because before initiating any stuff. So let me tell you this is RHEL Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9.1. Another OS we have that's etc. OS just released. So this is RHEL 7.9. So we have two version of Linux operating system. and we are going to check that which are the particular updates available so the very first thing which we need to check gm update so this command if we execute so this command is going to tell us that what are the updated packages available maybe this particular os was installed maybe couple of months before or you can say like uh, we have not done any upgradation on this particular os from last couple of months So what is right now is status of this? So we are going to run command yum update, and the same command we are going to run in both the servers. Yum update. So guys, what is the difference you guys need to notice here? So based on the particular operating system availability, that how many packages are available for update in RHEL nine? Because this is latest OS, right? Wherein if we talk about RHEL seven, so let us see that how many packages are available here. So these are the like a uh, number of packages which are available. We are going to install installing kernel. So this is the latest version available kernel for RHEL seven. If we talk about here, so these are the particular packages which are available for RHEL nine to be updated. Like these are going to be installed and these are going to be updated, right? So this is something like. So let us cancel both. We are not going to install completely. So the very first thing which we are going to see today is first of all we will be updating only one package. What is going to be that particular package? Let us say we are going to update Grub. So usually during interview, people ask, okay, uh, how do you upgrade Grub? So let me tell you, Grub is known as Grand Unified Bootloader. That is, like uh, the particular operating system gets loaded with the help of Grub only. So at the time of boot process, Grub is required. Grand Unified Bootloader. Okay. So if I want to update only one package, how can I do that? Yum. install then the package name that is it just define it it will show that what kind of packages are going to be installed let us say it is going to be install grub2 then after grub2 common pc pc module tools tools extra these are the dependencies of grub right so let us do one thing let us try to install it and before that let me show you one more thing rpm hyphen qa grab grub 2 so if we see like all the packages are available so this is a particular package which is installed within operating system if i run a command yum list installed pipe grab grub 2 so let us see what kind of output comes so it is telling that this is a particular like rpm name the architecture of it and the version but it is not providing me any additional information like when it was installed when it, it was updated last sometime interview during people ask interviewer may ask you during interview that how will you check when the package was updated last so let us do one thing rpm hyphen q hyphen last grub2 so if we run this command what is going to happen guys so this is going to tell that this particular package grub2. Grub two dash two point zero two dash zero eight seven el six el el seven means enterprise Linux seven and uh, these are the like uh, release version number of this and the pack the particular arc like architecture of this particular RPM. This is going to tell you like this. Okay, when it was updated, the particular last install time. So if I run a command yum update grub two, the maybe I can define complete package. So obviously that is already installed. So what I'm going to do? I will run only this command yum update grub2. Okay, I will install this. That will take quite some time. Okay, that is done quickly. Once again, I'm going to run the same command. So if you see it today, so the like some other version of that particular is available here. Moreover, if we see the date, like current date and time is available. If I run date command, 
so this is showing like obviously right now if we see like my local time so i'm sitting here in india local time it is 3 44 pm but if you see on this particular server so it is showing utc time zone that is why it is showing some different time in term of this particular system okay not a problem now let us see what happens if we perform the same thing with uh, rhl 9 em update grub 2 there is no update available for package known as grub2 there are couple of other packages which are available so which we can install for example i would like to update zlib i'll say no just a single package i'm trying to update yum update grub uh, zlib yes go for it okay i want to install one more package let us say tz data yum update tz data so guys there is one thing which i would be telling you after a couple of command execution see if i want i can install all the packages at once but right now what i'm trying to do here is i am trying to tell you that if multiple times update has taken place on your operating system then how to perform in that particular case right okay let me tell you so for example right now we are going to take two or maybe more packages this time maybe sqlite libs and ss sd client first of all like yum update this one and one more packages one more package we may pick from here so guys this is the complete list which can be updated so ss sd common this is going to like these two packages we are going to install this time hyphen y it will not ask me to give my consent going forward so that is it so guys if you see yum history command if i run so the particular answer to that question is going to be yum history now what does that mean so it is going to tell me the history of yum okay fine so what do we need to focus there are couple of ids coming in i do not know like what happened here maybe some other dependencies are installed whether it is updated it is installed it is removed or like what has happened here right so i'll run a command yum history info and then after the id number this is these are known as id number so this is going to tell me like the particular command which we have executed so transaction id is 1 begin time this like how much time it has taken what was the actual user who executed this command ec2 dash user written code was success like uh, release 9 command line update zlib comment package altered this was the particular package which is altered and this is a particular updated package so this is the information of it now if i want to check that what has happened within this particular id which is known as 4 so guys we are going to see that how many packages have been updated and how many has been like uh, removed so each and every information you can figure out from here moreover guys let me tell you the other way of doing it so this is a particular package sssd command right so i can run a command rpm dash q a q hyphen last and then after the particular package id so you can see that this has also been updated here right guys moreover let us see if we talk about on rhl7 i'm going to update all the packages yum update enter it is going to list all the packages which are supposed to be updated hit enter first of all it is going to download moreover guys let me tell you one more thing for example you want to just download the particular package you do not want to upgrade it but yes you want to download you define the package name copy package name yum install and then after what we are going to do download only and then after the package name exiting because download only specified what does that mean so guys there is a location inside slash where cache yum we are going to go here go inside this folder there's a particular release number rhl7 and now there are multiple stuff there are multiple packages available there are multiple repositories available here right so we need to understand that in which particular it has been downloaded so what we can do here is ls hyphen l capital r so it is going to list all the particular packages which have been downloaded so what does that mean guys right now we have a complete stack of packages which have been downloaded on this server so far 
so there is no need to download it from internet for example if you want to keep the rpm with you so in that particular case you can easily have access to it and that will be downloaded that will not be installed but the command here is going to be yum install hyphen hyphen download only then the package name so if we run that particular command and then after we are going to see it here like this so we will be able to see that these particular packages have been downloaded from your yum repository onto your local system onto your server itself you can call that now if we run once, once again the same command yum update minus y so it will update it will download and update, update all the packages so it is now updating i'll be telling you that uh, how to check all these things because see why i'm telling you these things guys because if you have to go through some audits so auditor may ask you okay share me the particular vapt report or the patch report for your server so in that particular case you will show the history of this particular yum history command you can show and uh, all the available packages from your vendor let us say in my case this is red, uh, red hat so that will be done in the same way i am going to execute this command here yum update minus y that is it or maybe guys you can use dnf command here instead of yum you can use dnf dnf is also the same command that is a replacement of yum in rhl 8 and rhl 9 but till rhl only yum only yum command was available so guys this is how we do uh, patching of the system patching means we are going to download the updated packages which are available so based on the vulnerabilities we can figure out from internet that what kind of vulnerabilities are there and we can down uh, we can update the system based on the like cve number itself i'll be telling you like what command to execute in that particular case so this is going to take some time so uh, over here in, in my rhl7 so only cleanup process is going on here in my rhl9 box it is running and cleanup process is going on so both system are going to take approximate time in order to do cleanup and all because number of packages which are going to be installed and updated these are different over here 86 over here we have 62 packages so we need to have a little much more patience and after that we are going to see that how does it look like later on so i hope that the particular purpose of running the two parallel servers and performing the particular updation of individual packages two packages and all so i have just informed you about it so if you might have any other question going forward so please do write in comment box i shall be answering you within next coming video you can skip this particular part but obviously i'm not going to pause the video because i would want you to see all the things taking place in real time no cut <clears throat> fine it is done so now em history okay so these are five em update minus y these are the like install and updates these sort of things have happened right guys so uh, let us say if i want to install only so i can install let us say em install vim minus y i can install so even it will tell you that what is the particular stuff which is installed here how many packages what are the dependencies of this particulars have been installed so it will tell you everything like yum history command then after run a command yum history info and number six so it will tell you that what that how many packages have been installed and over here it, it, is, it is going to tell you install for example i for install u for update and there might be one more letter known as e e for erase remove let me do something here gm remove yes so if i run a command gm history so it is going to tell you removed right so uh, using this particular way we shall be able to answer the query of interviewer like how do you manage patch management okay now let us say yum history
you are not aware like what to do with this particular so guys you can run a command game history hyphen hyphen the particular help option you can figure out here and it will tell you a lot of options like what you can do you can uh, you can run like no documents no plugins multiple options are, are given here right moreover there will be a particular option em and after that if i run a command install hyphen hyphen help so guys it is going to tell you a particular way okay like you can install only some cves itself like critical vulnerabilities you can define a hyphen hyphen cve equal to cve number you can do like that as well so in that particular case let us go to internet and let us figure out here r h e l c is go here you will go to this particular portal this is red hat official portal so it will tell you like what particular product you are talking about so red hat has multiple products right so in that particular case let us say i want to see only critical vulnerabilities so like it is on satellite server it is on red hat advanced cluster management so these are the particular vulnerabilities this is the advisory this is advisory number and over here you will be able to see some cve number like this is going to be updated package for like uh, candle pin these are going to be some packages which are updated one this is overview and uh, if you go down then you will get to know couple of other stuff here like under what particular release red hat has released all the things and guys these are the particular cves so just for example if i have any package available and i need to run this particular command so if i want to update only those packages which are which are affected by individual cve number so we will run a command em install hyphen hyphen c v e equal to this so if any kind of packages c config file this does not exist right now because i do not have any kind of cve available because i do not have that package because that is related to some kind of red hat server that is kind of like uh, satellite server so that's why that is not available here so we can define it like cves and then after the number of cve and that is it so the, i hope that that is clear guys like how do we perform this particular so that will work only in that case if the affected cve package is available and installed in your operating system only then this is going to work right moreover you can define it like security severity like it is critically important middle or low you can define that as well moreover like a uh, couple of other options are also uh, available here what, what you can define that so even with the help of like individual package with the help of like cv names which i have just shown you that how do we identify the cv number if you go here so it will take you to further that portal and it will define like each and every one but like uh, like this is going to be critical impact and what is the particular description of this particular what is the mitigation plan of it how do we update it like what is the particular platform so this is satellite 6.12 for rhl 8 so if someone has installed satellite server on rhl 8 and satellite satellite software version is 6.12 then this is going to be uh, this is going to be vulnerable the particular package name is going to be this one like ruby gem active record this is the particular cv assessment c c score detail so you can see that when it is released on 18 jan 2023 so this is a recent one actually right so i hope that answers all the queries so thank you so very much for watching, watching this video have a good time and happy learning if you have yet not subscribed to my channel so please do like share and subscribe thank you very much have a good time